Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Dr. Resto signing in to another episode in the channel. Today's episode, we're going over Knights and Dragons, specifically talking about Kingdom of Darkness. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting that thing beat with less than 30 gems. Let me know down in the comments below with the least amount of gems that it's taken you to finish Kingdom of Darkness. And also, let me know if this is the method that you use to finish Kingdom of Darkness, or if it's not the method. Let me know your method down in the comment section below. Without further ado, cue that intro and let's get into the episode. Alrighty gamers, so jumping on into this one right here. We have the Kingdom of Darkness. We're gonna be going against getting that totem face. You guys know that we need this bad boy, so we are gonna go ahead and grab this. Now, like I said, we did this in less than 30 gems. The method that we use, oh, here's the chart right here. So take a look down there, make sure and screenshot this. If you guys don't have this one already, that's gonna show you each and every stage that you guys are gonna need for Kingdom of Darkness. Now this doesn't change up anything, this doesn't make anything different. It also gives you the armors that you should take in a battle. Now what I did is these are the guys that I took in a battle, and then I went ahead and got a hold of a couple of my guild mates. Uh, let's see who we use. We use Beater here and Maui. Big shout out to those guys for helping me get this bad boy. Uh, so we used those guys, and what I did was I got a hold of them with each stage, and I had them alternate their armors according to who we were facing, okay? Um, so that's exactly what I did. Now, one thing on this one is I didn't do the level up trick, which I definitely should have. And I feel, and you know, watch the video, let me know what you guys think. Um, I really think that I should have leveled up between stages like maybe six um, or seven. Now, the hard part with that level up trick is you wanna go and level up and, and then you're gonna have to use gems, you know, so it, it's kind of wonky. So keep that one in mind. We didn't level up in this one, but I did level up in the last time that I used this trick. Uh, so yeah, definitely keep that one in mind. So we're gonna go and get these guys beat by ourselves. Now this one right here, he has the fire and the spirit. So I needed to have those guys change over from fire into spirit. So I just went over in the line app, boom, contacted them, uh, had them switch over. So you guys can see here, water, fire, water, fire. Uh, let me move me down here so you guys can get a little bit better view of him. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be exactly what I took in the battle. You know, my armors don't change, so I just took my best three armors, but they were able to switch out their armors, which definitely helped out a bunch. Uh, now we got to this point. Now obviously water fire does not go good against water fire. So again, I just went over the line app, got a hold of them, changed it just like that. So now they've got the better armors, so let's go ahead and jump into battle. You guys can see that there. You guys can see it right there as well. Um, so jumping on into battle, should be able to get this chick all taken out. And we were with that one. Now this one here was a little bit different uh, because I came up to this horse guy and I only have one night left over. He does have full health though. Uh, again, getting him switched over, that's the best thing to do. Uh, he does have full health and I believe I lose on this one. Um, which I should have just went through the battle, fought, lost, and then jumped back into it um, just because. So around this guy or the next guy, now we're not going to use the five gem trick uh, because we're going to go and back out on this one. We're going to go and jump in. We're going to get a couple hits with my knights that have one HP uh, and then my other friend. So we're going to use both of them uh, instead of that full health knight. It should be a little bit better overall. Now we have that chatter shield ability, which helps a little bit, but yeah. So as you guys can see there, boom, we were able to get him taken out just by backing out, coming back into it with my friends having half health. So that definitely helped out in the end. So now this one right here, I would probably recommend leveling up at this guy right here. For me personally, this would be the stage that I definitely want to get leveled up at. Now you guys probably have different armors and those kind of things. Um, so yeah, it might be a little bit different for you guys, but again, this is where per I would prefer to get leveled up at. So you guys can see they have the Earth, Earth, and then the Earth Spirit as well. Uh, and you guys can see here, my guys are not really able to get him taken out. So if I was able to level up at level five, boom, I'd be able, <laughs> poor, little, poor baby Redstone. If I was able to level up at five and then jump into this one at full health, man, I'd be able to get this guy taken care of no problem. Now seven, eight, and nine, uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all those ones are fairly difficult. Uh, so I would imagine to be able to get this thing done in about 20, you know, 
24 gems would be preferred. I think there was five gems here where I probably didn't need to. If I could have leveled up at five, I would have saved that five gems at level six. And then this one here is where we would have gotten changed. So boom, I just got a hold of my friends, had them switch. Uh, and again, big shout out to Beater and Maui. Those guys, uh, huge help. Definitely making this process the best and the easiest, most effective way that I know. Um, just like I said, you know, friends take you a long way in this game. And these guys definitely helped me out a bunch. Uh, so you guys can see here, we have that dual water, that earth water. They're able to get her taken out, no problem. And again, jumping on over into this one right here, we've got this guy. Uh, this definitely doesn't seem like a good combination, so I'm going to go ahead and get a hold of him. Beater, Maui, make sure you switch your guys' armors for me. That'd be great. And then on this one as well, we're going to go and get switched over. Uh, and we're probably going to lose this one and then jump back into it just like we did in that last one. Boom. So they got it all taken care of. Uh, looks like Beater went ahead and put that fire fire on. And then Maui's right here. He's got that fire and that spirit. So uh, definitely great elemental combinations to counter this guy right here. And that's kind of what you guys need. Now, keep in mind, so nine gems, definitely not worth it. Back out, jump back into it. Get back to that five gem counter. You guys know exactly what we do. Uh, now, the one thing that I would definitely suggest is making sure you get a hold of these guys beforehand, letting them know exactly what you're going to do. Uh, because if you don't let them know what you're going to do, then you might be stuck at one or something like that. Now, I went ahead and just powered through these and spent my gems just to get it done. Uh, another way that you guys can do it is wait for regen. Now, if I waited for regen on this one, probably would have been pretty good. But again, Get a hold of your friends and let them know that you're going through heroic stages because if you don't let them know that you're going through heroic stages, they might switch armors, you might need them to switch back, you know, everything like that. So the more in communication that you guys are in, the better overall that it's going to be. So, so this is kind of the bad part right here that we had to use those five gems. And as much as my like people are left over, because now once we get into battle with this guy, it's going to be that nine gem revive. Uh, and we have to go through all the way, lose, and then get back into it. So that's kind of the crappy part there. Um, so keep in mind, watch this video and see if there's anything that I could have done different. Now I did notice when I did this the last time, uh, so they got over switched over water fire, which is perfect. Thank you. Now the one thing that I did notice on this one is like the healing and level ups and stuff like that. Maybe could have done those in a little bit different order to save a couple gems. Uh, Cause you guys can see here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get him down to, let's see, where's he at? Boom, okay. So he's roughly about half health. So nine gems, I could restore and get this guy beat. I know that for a fact right now, um, but I backed out just to save those four gems. Now I'm jumping back into it. And again, my knights, they go down pretty dang quick. So that revive, how worth it was it for me to do the revive on mine uh, when you know they're gonna go down really fast? Not really that worth it. Uh, and I don't know how many stuns I got on this one. One thing you can do is back out, see if you can get some extra stuns, and then jump back into it. See if you can get some extra stuns. If you got enough stuns, use those gems, boom, five gems, you're done right there. So let's see, we should be, okay, we are able to get this guy taken care of right here. Yeah, okay, so we got him done. So now we're here at the final boss, which is hard. I think the last three bosses or so are pretty difficult. Now, I don't have the best armors. Maybe you guys might have a little bit better uh, armor lineup than what I have, but we'll see. Uh, so we're gonna go and back out on this one. Let's go ahead and get jump on back over into this one. So now I need to get a hold of my friends again. Big shout out to Maui and Beater again for helping me out with this one. So I'm going to get over to him. Boom, 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 boom. What I did was I took a screenshot here sent it over in the chat that we created and then they knew exactly what boss we were fighting and which one to switch over to so they got done they messaged me i jumped back in or i forced closed the game jumped back into the game uh, and then here we are so here we are we've got these two guys right here we're gonna go and use five gems here for that restore uh five gems is the cheapest and five gems here is the cheapest uh, let's go ahead and see what we got and we are not quite there. We were so close uh, We're going to go ahead and use the five more gems right there And yeah, got him all beat all done and dusted right there uh, So let's go ahead and jump over into so we got 32 keys again You guys can beat that over and over and over uh, up to eight times to go ahead and get 32 keys each time Which is a lot of freaking keys. It's what 250 keys 256 keys, I believe. Don't quote me on that, that's quick math. Totem face, all done and dusted. 
less than 30 gems. If you guys can do it better, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy it, please make sure to smash that like button. It definitely helps me out more than you know. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to put those down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe before you go. This is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks, YouTube. Peace.